Hey guys, so this is my September favorites because it's October now. It is October 1st today and it's so weird that I just like kind of started school obviously you guys probably already know that because of my dorm and stuff like that um, which I will talk about in a little bit and um, pretty much school's been going really really good uh, just getting back into the swing of things but of course that means I have more time to look at new makeup products and all that good stuff and um, so I'm going to talk about everything that I have been just like loving because I got a whole bunch of stuff um, before the school year started just to try out have fun with you know whatever I want to do because I have more time for that right now. So I'm going to jump into everything and the first item that we're going to do is something that was like made me cringe to buy but it's totally worth it I swear. And that is the MAC, oh my god what are you called, Match Master Foundation. This has um, SPF 15 in it and this matches my skin tone perfectly. It's kind of scary how perfectly this matches my skin tone. It's like just like the hairiest too light for me and uh if you blend it out enough and you're all good like it just blends in with your skin tone and then um if you put just like a slightly darker powder or the powder of your same skin tone then you're good and it looks flawless there's no like line of like you know oh you have like foundation or anything like that um it comes with a pump which is the best um and i've just been loving it you can kind of tell like how much have I used of it so far since I bought it um but I mean I just have been using this every day and it doesn't have like the lasting power of Revlon Colorstay because that's like heavy coverage this is more of a sheer to medium coverage foundation because I don't need that much coverage so I just kind of use this every day and I'm just like you know I don't need the Revlon Colorstay every single day and even days like today where I have like you know an 8 a.m class and then I have a 2 p.m. class so my day pretty much lasts from 8 a.m. to like 9 p.m. around there um I think the lasting power of this is eight hours and like like I said I don't really need heavy coverage foundation so this works fine for me um I have no complaints about this honestly um there are times where I wish this was like a little bit better in staying power but the trick to fixing that is actually my next product. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer and this pretty much just makes sure that my foundation is actually going to stay all day and um, my skin's been getting really dry so like patches of where like I have breakouts which I only get like once every month pretty much. Um, it just makes sure that that area is pretty much hydrated and it doesn't stick out too much or anything like that. So this compared just like paired with um, this it makes my long days last all night which I think rocks again with the dry skin is a moisturizer that I moved to from um, summer to this one this is the simple sensitive skin experts punishing rich moisturizer and this is awesome <laughs> um, especially coming down to a new kind of climate where my skin kind of like freaks out a little bit um but it's been getting cooler here just in the mornings like during the day i can wear shorts and a short sleeve shirt and i am good but in the mornings i have to wear pants and i notice that my skin in the morning is really dry especially around those breakout areas so i just put this on and then the primer and then my foundation and it looks good that's what i did today and um no complaints. I will say that like um, between my classes like this I normally take a nap like a two hour nap before class which is like good and bad. It's nice that I can have time to take a nap but then it's also bad because I get sleepy during class but um, I try like you know to have something hold up that lasting power because when I'm sleeping on my pillow that doesn't really help too much out because I feel like it smears it off the side of my face because of my pillow. Sticking with a few um, foundation-like products, I put them all into the face category even though I do have... Everything's pretty much like a face product, isn't it? I don't know. Calling it a face product. Um, this is the Super Stay Concealer. I've already talked about this a crap ton, um, especially since I recently got a CoverGirl um, concealer, which I do like. It just doesn't stay as much as this does. Um, it's more of like a, you know, stay 
where it needs to go, won't budge, nothing, which is awesome. So I um, normally use the erased paste for uh, under eye circles and stuff, but sometimes I will actually use this because this is a little cheaper than the erased paste, and um, it just clings onto that under eye area and doesn't budge or anything, unlike the CoverGirl, I can't even remember what it's called, um, the CoverGirl Plus Olay one. Um, to sheer coverage and it's not as thick and um, so it doesn't stick as well. It doesn't have that super stay quality to it. But I do use that on days where um, I don't really mind too much. I'm just doing something really quick or whatever or I'll use this. Um, but I think the CoverGirl one is actually really moisturizing so sometimes I'll use that on little breakout areas. But on my long days like today, <laughs> like I said, I will use this on trouble spots and under eye circles and on my nose and around the side of my mouth and stuff like that. Um, just because it stays and I don't really have to worry about it at all um, because I notice that at the end of class sometimes that my under eyes will be like Bleh! and this doesn't happen with that. As long as you set it right, then it doesn't happen. Now this is actually a cheek product, which I don't normally mention, but uh, this is just been using every day needs to be mentioned. This is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Solar Ray. The thing I love about this is that I can just put this on my cheeks and I don't even have to worry about having a mountain of pink on my cheeks. Um, I normally use this every day because I don't really need pink cheeks every day. Um, I do have another MAC blush. This is in Supernova and this is really, really, really pink, which looks fantastic, but if you don't put it on right, and you're in a rush, it will look awful. Um, the Supernova is just mainly a pretty highlight color, and so what happens is that I can just take my blush brush, swirl it around a little bit, put it on my cheeks, that's it. I don't need good lighting, I don't need to worry about blending it in too much because it kind of goes in with my skin tone and creates that highlight color that I like. I don't even have to use highlight for that day. Um, this is just honestly the products I used this morning. Um, so I just kind of go into the routine because at 6am I kind of know that I need to do this, this, and this to look good, but I don't want to do it at the time. So this blush is bomb.com. Next few products I have are pretty quick because I've had these forever, but it's just stuff that I have to have and I've been using like freaking crazy. First is the Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner and this is in Perversion or Zero? I don't know. Perversion. It's Perversion. This I've talked about many times before because I've had this for so long and I adore this. I hate how it's $19, $18. That sucks. But I've had this for two years now. I know you're supposed to throw an eyeliner. I know that, but <laughs> it still works. It's not like there's clumps in it or anything like that that say that it's expired, so I'm gonna still use it. Um, this brush is amazing. The brush is tiny, 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 tiny. So I can get the tiny line that I need on the inner part of my eye and then take it out and have a bigger line on the edge, which I love and I do every day pretty much. Um, and it just sticks, unless you rub your eyes. You've got, obviously, you know, if you rub your eyes, guys, that your winged eyeliner is gonna go away, so I try not to do this with that. Um, and as long as you don't get it in your eye or anything, um, you're fine. But I honestly love the blackness of this and the tiny brush. So I will definitely buy this again when I run out, but so far I have not run out so far. Next is uh, something that Leanne says, always talks about if you guys watch, Leanne says, and I actually got this uh, because of Emily Noel, uh, freaking mm, year ago, I think. And this is the Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stain in Honey. Your lip color, but better stick, pretty much. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I think I put it on earlier today and then I, put on a bolder lip color afterwards because I just felt like it. Um, these things are absolutely amazing. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but when I put foundation on in the morning, I will get foundation on my lips and so my lips look dead nude like I'm a zombie and I don't like that. So if that happens and I don't have time to fix it, then I just put on the balm stain just over my lips and my lips look neutral and still look like my lip color, but just a hint of pink which is just a quick fix that I do, and since it looks so good, I really don't care if I'm in like a comfy outfit for the day, and then I just stick this on. Even like dressing this up, this still looks fantastic. It's just so multi-purpose, it's insanity. How amazing this is, you need to get this like now. <laughs> I guess this is another 
neutral color, which I didn't notice till now that the blush, the balm stain, and then this nail polish, which we're about to talk about, is all neutral colors. I guess I just like neutral colors once in a while, actually every day, um, just because they're so easy and they go with everything. Um, this is Ladylike from Essie from their fall collection a few years ago, and I adore this color. My god, this was my uh, nail polish for my first day of class outfit, which you guys will say that in a later video, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's just this pinky fall neutral tone and when I wore it with uh, the dress which is a, like a cream white dress it's kind of more on the yellow side than anything else and it looked gorgeous because it goes with pretty much anything I wore that entire week because one day I would wear that the next day I wear another dress um, it was actually a skirt and then a tank top that I wore with it and then the next day I would wear more of like a punky shirt that I got from like PacSun and it went with all of those outfits and since it is getting slightly towards fall, I don't want it to get fall yet, but I also do love fall, um, as weird as that sounds. I just, I haven't been able to go on the beach since I've been back um, in Savannah and stuff. So I want a little longer to be able to go to the beach because that would be fantastic to get that tan back that I lost when I was sick with mono, which that's another video also because Lordy knows that a, like 50% of people have gotten mono. Um, I'm pretty sure you could probably still pick up this nail polish. They took a few colors from this collection and put it into the permanent collection. And even if like you can't find it in their collection, I am like 95% sure that OPI probably has the same exact color, but anything like this is fantastic. Just saying. Next item is something that I don't really talk about, which is my hair. This is the um, Organics Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, I got these because of uh, the the couponing video, if you guys saw that. Pretty much it was on sale and then I had a $2 off coupon. So it made like one of the bottles like $3.75 and then the other one was like $5.75. And I love these. Let me talk about my hair for a second. Um, I don't wash it every day. I think I wash it about every two days, every three days. It really depends. I only wash it when it's like noticeably greasy and dry shampoo cannot save the day. So um, I just love this stuff. I don't know if I would buy it again because it being $5 and you only get these like tiny bottles rather than the huge like um, Garnier Fructis bottles. These just make my hair fantastic. I just, maybe it's because I wait three days to wash my hair and then once I wash my hair, my hair just like loves it. Um, I might switch back to the Garnier for a little bit and then go back to this and see how it likes it. But um, I don't straighten my hair that often, as weird as that is. Um, I just straighten it on days when like I'm doing something special that day. Rather than that, my hair does this wavy thing that just gets confused, but it's that natural wavy kind of thing that happens when I just wash my hair and my hair loves this stuff I mean it just gets into that natural shape of it where it's like really tousled and it looks gorgeous and I love it because I don't have to straighten my hair every day um because straightening this much hair is just it's not okay for me last item because I haven't talked about this either it's my new phone even though the 5s just came out um my grandma bought me an iphone uh, before I went to school, which I am totally grateful for. I cannot, like, think enough of how lucky I'm, like, have her, because she's, like, one of my best friends, my grandma, which is kind of weird, but, um, whatever. Pretty much, I'm in love with my iPhone. Um, I do like the update. I'm still getting used to it, though. I wish I had the 5S, but I'm okay with this. It's not too much of a difference between the 4 and the 5. It's not that big of a difference, but, you know, I'll live with what I get. And, um, it's the case that is my favorite. Also the phone, but case too. Um, the case is the life proof case. This is the Fru case, I think. It's not the nude case. His nude case is like a hundred dollars. Um, this was actually 90 at the Verizon store and I know the nude one is a hundred, but this came with the total protection, um, registration code to where, um, I went online and I registered this case so that if my phone is ever water damaged, I get a brand new phone. <laughs> so I can take this six feet underwater and if it has any kind of water damage to it, I get a new five iPhone, which is like really awesome. You know that you don't have to worry about it, even though I still am. 
I'm still worried about like getting this like water damaged and stuff. I think it's because the little clicky thing at the bottom kind of worries me, but um, it's fantastic. Um, the only complaint I have about this case is the um, extra headphone jack that you need uh, if you want to wear headphones, which I use my headphones constantly while I'm at school just because I'm walking around everywhere. Um, and yeah, other than that, I love how it's white. Um, I think the colored cases are a little off. I just know that the white is a little more neutral, even though it gets kind of dirty. Um, <laughs> but it protects my phone pretty well. I've dropped it a few times already, and the phone's not cracked. You know, the case pretty much protects it because there's a little scuff mark on this side and everything, but it's doing fantastic. I, you know, have it on the speaker that it's on, and I take the phone within the shower with me so I can listen to my music and take showers with my awesome shampoo and conditioner and just so blissful. That's, that's how I can explain it. So that is everything guys. Um, it wasn't that much I know, but I have a lot to say about these products because I always talk a little too much and, um, everything else I've gotten is still from that early, uh, time before school started. Um, so I'm still trying out different things and everything, but mostly all my money is going towards school projects and textbooks. You guys know how that is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to check out my other videos too because I'm doing a few film thingies filming day today. At least the short amount of time I had because I'm not taking a nap. Exactly. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, please don't forget to check out my other videos and make sure to subscribe and do not forget to enter my Gilly Hicks giveaway which is still going on um, it ends October 9th if I'm not mistaken so you guys still have a few days left to do that since it's still early October um, I will see you guys in a later video